There he is. The Mac texted me. I just told him I was about to shoot. Can't check the text though. Filming on my phone. <sighs> Gotta roll with the punches. There he is. The Mac texted me. I just told him I was about to shoot. Can't check the text though. Filming on my phone. Let's see how many times he texts me now. Gonna smoke my little nose burner tonight. Wasn't feeling all the best today. It's the way she goes with depression. Up and down. Sometimes week to week, sometimes day by day, sometimes hour by hour, sometimes minute to minute. Out of nowhere, I just kind of felt like making this video. I would have made it anyways because I want to stay true to Saturday night beers and beer videos. Even though Maca, as you know, the old restrictions are going to lift. Tuesday we'll be able to uh, get together outside. As many people, I think, 10 outside without dis distancing. So that'll be nice. I feel like we're gonna get into a get into a fight card. You showed me there. Who was it? Uh, was it Adjasanti or Adjasant? What am I talking about? Gurus. Adesanya, <laughs> uh, Adyashanti, starts fighting, probably be good, 145er, he's a wiry little bugger, what do we got, seven years ale, Amber ordered me up, six tall cans, there's Maca again, or the five other people I'm texting. All over the computer. I got my phone leaned, leaned up against my laptop. Oh yeah. What beer was I drinking recently? It had a super creamy head on it. Um, was it the Black Angus? Yes, it was. This head's a bit bubbly. The Black Angus was super creamy. Cheers, brother. Another Saturday night apart. Hopefully the last um, one will have to be a part. <sighs> that is delicious. It even tastes different from their, um, what's their other 5%? pale ale the one I just mentioned there um, 
Oh no, that's a uh, big spruce has the um, kitchen birdie. Tastes a lot. To, um, I'm I've been on the ale kick lately, so I'm like I'm easily um, distinguishing between the different ones. This one has uh, more of the grape fruitiness, like straight up grape fruitiness. Um, the Big Spruce Kitchen Party just, just has the pininess, doesn't really have the grape fruitiness. The Black Angus from Breton Brew doesn't really have the grape fruitiness, just the pininess. That has a lot of grape fruitiness, which I'm into right now. Um... What do we got here? I'm gonna get to a story soon. I'm gonna meet Marcus Challenge. Tell a story that doesn't uh, paint me in a good light, so to speak. One of those moments you're not proud of. I was a kid though, so it's not that bad. Love you, brother. Can't wait to watch a fight night with you. Oh, crooked teeth. Definitely Popeye. <laughs> Can of spinach. Your old boy. Got the assist. Love it. Game six or seven on tonight. Just got in from having a fire. I sent you the picture there. Say hello to everybody else here, everybody who's watching. I know like 14 or 15 of you are watching, so. Shout out to Vendor Slide, Backcountry Pipe, Home Waters 1. Can't believe this happened again. Shout out to Jay. Yay! This is delicious. Look at how cloudy that is. Amazing. So, I think I'll get to the story. Um, back in elementary. Uh... Believe it or not, I was part of probably five of like sort of like the alpha <laughs> alpha males in the in my classroom all through elementary. I don't know why. I wasn't aggressive or anything, but I don't know. I was a cute little bugger when I was younger. 
the girls liked me. So, somehow I was up in the ranks all through, all through uh, elementary school. But, uh, I never told you this, Maka, which is awesome. After 20, 20, 20 more, 20 plus years, never told you this story. Um, I was like, there was no desire in me to start a fight. Like I, I never would have picked a fight like in a million years. It just never would have even appealed to me or, uh, uh, whatever the world word is occurred to me to start a fight but uh, <clears throat> the other four probably alphas they were maybe three of them were more likely to start fights uh, and they did and uh, so this weird part of me felt like I had to be a part of that. I had to uh, fight to prove that I could fight, even though people always assume that I could fight, just I guess because I was athletic and I had the physique and I could, like I was good in gym and stuff like that, like the rest of the five alpha. Young fellas. Anyway, one day I decided I was gonna start a fight. Not sure what grade it was. Probably grade four. Might have been grade six. I feel like I never would have started a grade in, a fight in grade five because it would have drew all the attention of the grade sixes, which would have scared me. I feel like it might have been at the beginning of grade six or something. Um, <laughs> so I planned her out, I guess, uh, or it was just something brewing in my head that I had to, I knew I had to cross that bridge, I had to start a fight. Um, so my buddy, uh, Mike, won't say his last name, he was one of my, like, best friends. <laughs> we're just playing dinkies or whatever uh, the heck we were we were playing just having a good time and uh, I chose the right time for him to piss me off and uh, I picked a fight with him <laughs> and I threw a couple of <laughs> I started pushing him, I guess, and he didn't know what was going on. Mike wasn't one of the top alpha guys. Uh, and um, I guess I I kept pushing him and saying, come on, come on, and uh, I grabbed a hold of him. <laughs> and he grabbed me, he grabbed my shirt, like hockey style, and pulled it over my head. And... Uh, I couldn't get out of it. <laughs> I took a couple swings at him and I missed him. And uh, God bless him, he could have pumped the head off me, but he didn't. He just sort of <laughs> controlled me with my own shirt. Could not get out of it for the life of me. I was fuming. I was basically threatening him to let me out of it so I could fight him. And. Uh, I don't know what came of it, but he he let me go at one point, and we put it in the past, and the rest was history. But uh, yeah, not something I'm proud of. There's my story. Good old Mike. I could have got work that day. Last time I tried to pick a fight, I think. Hope you enjoyed that, brother.
I didn't think I was gonna think of one. I'm usually a ultra cautious person. When it comes to protecting my ego. I'm not going to challenge him tonight. I will think of a, a challenge, but not tonight. I'll probably keep this uh, video as long as uh, my beer takes me to drink this beer or even shorter. Got a gurgle in the old little pipe. Hope he's doing well. Right now he's uh, probably realizing that I'm filming the video. So he's stopping texting me. What's he got going on tonight? Probably the, the game, I guess. Wonder if there's any fights on or whatever. Well, uh, I think I'm going to read you a couple of my poems, Maka. I might uh, put that into the, the Saturday night repertoire. I'll read you from my... Uh, these are my first journals. It's called A Decade of Things from 2008 to 2018. But on our poem nights, I never read you from this because... It was on my laptop, and I, uh, <clears throat> I just stuck to the paper. Here's one, Maka. I feel like you wrote about this. This is an old one. I wrote this around the time, the time we camped out that night. You have a poem about uh, embers and uh, getting up and... Uh, the coffee's tasting like the devil's piss. Well, about that same little camp out, I wrote. I'm gonna turn off this heater. It looks like a Polish sentry or something. Just a short one. Still awake in the quiet morning cold. Tired peace, soul dream. Night lingers in the black trees. And the silent yellow trumpets of dawn sound a pale blue song. That was about me and Maka camping out when we were younger fellas. Nice night in the woods. In a shelter we built. What else do I got here? Here's one that's kind of sad. This is an old one, but it kind of applies to me sometimes these days. Oh, great spirit, I am lonely. I am sad. I cannot find you anywhere. This is going to be a doozy to edit, I'll tell you that. Here's one. I would not trade how deeply I have lived for a life with less sorrow. I would not trade how deeply I have lived for a life with less sorrow. There's another one. No book can lend you the courage it takes to love. Here's another one. To my credit, I always wish Judas could have got it together, and even Satan for that matter. I've never got from these characters' stories the fearful and shameful warning they intend nor the self-righteous assuredness in a supposed utter contrast with them 
in my supposed utter contrast with them, but only despair and dread and a wish that it never had to be so. Here's one. It only takes a moment of joy to realize you've had a good life. All the art galleries in the world could burn for all I care, but the loss of one ancient landscape, one ancient ring of stone, one medieval ruin, will leave a void within me that will never be filled. I'll leave it at that, brother. Save. Save the others for another time. <clears throat> Smoking nightcap, by the way, Petersons from Dano. From you, Dano. Old Dano and Eddie boy. Up and down the mall. thinking they weren't being seen. Oh, Eddie Briffith. Love him. Briffith. he's watching hope he's doing well hope he's still doing chin-ups tried talking me into it for years I always sounded fantastic I just never did it I'm drunker now Huh? Wish I was watching that game today. Dan Owen Ed got turned down by the by the the runts of the litter, the dregs. <sighs> Poor souls, they're probably lovely human beings doing wonderful things for humanity. And uh Davey got a, Davey got off easy. Could have got his ass kicked in what he thought was an easy fight. He thought it was his, his uh, quick and easy way to glory. Like going down a weight class. Nah. Got trapped in his own shirt. Oh, Lionel. Come on up and see Dan. Come on up and see Dan. He doesn't really like being being held. I'll tell you that. There he is. Say hi to Dan. Your buddy. He's a cat dad too. A boy. Getting used to living with a boy. I love it. 
old Gwenny was a girl. 17 years I had her. For those who aren't Dan. Love the little guy. Keeps Ruby safe when I'm not home. Just in case the weasel gets in or something. Old Rube's here in the background. She'll be going home with her mom tomorrow. <clears throat> you know who that is, Aka. It's a lovely evening out. Birds are still chirping. What time is this? I can't tell. Because the time is wrong on my computer. My fire is probably just smoldering down to ashes now. Don't know if I told you. Can't remember what I said. But I cooked some lentils over the some lentil soup my neighbor sent over on the fire. Lentil soup in a bag. Well, that was my supper tonight. What's today? Saturday. Saturday. Brother Beer, I was going to say we call this, like Brother Bear, but I think it's just going to be Saturday Night Beer, or Saturday Night Drinks. I got nothing else for him. I'll probably throw on an old favorite, have another beer, glad I'm feeling better. Came out of nowhere. I'll take it. Probably mess around on the computer. Work on some lyrics or some poems or something. Anyway, love them, Mecca. We're uh, we're almost there. Tuesday. Hopefully, we'll be able to see each other. I can't, I can't remember how long it is now until you're done your work at Home Depot and you'll be at, on the day shift. It's going to be mint. I'll be picking them up. I'll be picking you up. It's friggin' 3.30 on a weekday. Going to have an afternoon. Just a little afternoon. Maybe a coffee, maybe a beer, maybe a pipe. And then drive you home before supper or after supper. Just normal life. Just normal life with your best buddy. Alrighty. I'm going to sign off. Thanks to everybody else who's watching. Another Saturday Night Beer. Come my brother. Another messed up video. I hope we continue this even when uh, on the Saturdays when we're not together watching fights. All right, brother, bro brother, baby trunk up on here. All right. I'm going to try to shut this off without throwing everything up, and I'll talk to you after. Well, there she is. One more video I got to patch together, salvage something out of. Love them. Bold Habs. Wonder how they're doing. Struggling. Mac is pissed. Later, brother. Love them.